Hi, my name is Gretchen Hall, and for the past three years, I have served as a Classrooms for the Future coach at Cedar Crest High School. During this time, I have had the opportunity to work with teachers to help their classrooms transform so our school can adequately prepare its students for the life ahead of them. Take a minute and listen as some of the teachers here at Cedar Crest tell you how their classroom has changed due to the Classrooms for the Future grant. I believe that CFF has helped to level the playing field for all students. Technology has been awesome in my classroom. They've really been able to connect with the world and connect with my information. To get kids involved much more in their learning, we all know that active learning is you know, a lot better. Involved, excited, they ask to use the computers. It's become more interactive with the students. Classroom of the future has really changed my classroom. Miss Hall found us a site that was 123printcards.com. My polls, polling everywhere. Skype and Wikispace. I use Activotes with the geometry class as a check for understanding. Working with students who are academically disadvantaged comes with its own set of challenges. They're able to produce projects that go beyond their limitations. It allows them to succeed at a higher level. I also use the laptops uh, pretty frequently using a program called GeoGebra where they can actually discover the certain properties of figures, geometric figures. I tell them to get out their cell phone and turn it on and they can actually use it. Uh, that in and of itself was just you know, something different for them. They were able to text their answer in class during the middle of the presentation and we were able to see the results. Uh, so I would be able to throw in, you know, after a homework assignment or after presenting something, a multiple choice question to see did they get it, do they understand it. It just seemed like the kids were more focused, you know, to what I was doing. And I've been able to connect to some of the online applications for the mathematics instructor or I should say the Mathematics Teacher Magazine, where I can actually have students do line of best fit and go out and use an interactive program set up by NCTM to practice that particular um, concept. Put different parts, their favorite sections of 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea on a magazine page. It is also used daily on a, um, with the web design classes because we need computers and instead of changing to a different room, I'm able to use the laptop card and have the students use that. The Skype is a format that allows my sister from Jordan to be able to talk from Jordan to them real time. They can ask her questions, they can find out about what's going on in Jordan. They are able to find out about the geographic conditions, they are able to find out about women's lives in Jordan, um, they can see the actual dress in Jordan. It was inside of a coffee, coffee shop inside of Jordan, so they were able to hear the music that was in the background that they play in Jordan. All of them. All of them did ask if there were terrorists in Jordan that she saw all the time. And she was able to inform them that there are not terrorists just walking down the street. Um, they also asked about what types of food she ate. She was wearing um, the traditional burqa, so they could ask about clothing styles. My students actually got sections of the Macbeth uh, play, and they rewrote it using GoAnimate, so it was a modernized version of Macbeth. But to give them opportunities to create a magazine, we used a, a new site, you know, OpenZine, where kids were actually able to put together a magazine, pull in pictures, and instead of just sharing a basic PowerPoint, it was a different format, allowed you know, kids to be creative and use their technology, their, their use of the internet. They know how to do all those things, uh, and it's just giving them the tools to do it in class. We've also done, gone to the London Eye, did a virtual tour of the London Eye. We did circumference and also angular and linear speed by uh, looking at different Ferris wheels, and then we all went out to a site where we could take a virtual tour of London by being up in the, in the eye. One kid said, now this is a senior, you know, AP student, uh, thought this is the coolest thing ever. I said, get out of here. He said, I'm serious, I'm serious. It's the coolest thing ever. I'm Mrs. Cronin. I teach honors geometry, uh, AP statistics, and web design, and I love having the Classrooms for the Future technology in my classroom. It's, it's made them better students.